So I finally was able to unlock Orion for all the guns in MW2 and I wanted to give five meta builds who I think are the worst guns in MW2. I was about to get 10, but then the video was just way too long, so I'm cutting it down to five. And I'm sorry if your favorite gun is on my shit list. All right, these are just guns I did not enjoy leveling up or I eventually enjoyed once I found a build for them. To get to Orion, I mainly play shipment and I highly recommend it as well. Guys, there's no point in making this grind longer than it has to be, play shipment. For the long shots, I did use tier one on the regular maps just because the maps are a lot bigger than shipment and also there's more lanes for you to actually shoot people on. Towards the end, I'll give you an example of how you wanna build your guns for long shots and give you additional attachments. That makes a difference when you're playing tier one. And if you learned something, like the video, subscribe if you want more MW2 content. Let's get the video started. All right, so the first gun that I hate using in MW2 to level up was the freaking tag m okay so this is the scar receiver and this is the marksman version of the, the scar and then the reason why this gun sucks so much is just because there is a cap to the fire rate of how fast you can shoot this gun i'm pressing as fast as i can and that is the fastest i can shoot it um but the good thing about this gun i guess the only good thing is that you can get headshots from almost anywhere um so i guess that's a good thing but this is what I'm running on it right now. I'm running the CZ SR07. You can switch this for a laser. It was just a lot easier for me when I was getting headshots with this gun to actually use this optic. And then you could tune it to close or far, whichever one you prefer. Uh, close, easier, like bigger targets, but then more visual recoil. Far, less visual recoil, but you gotta be a little bit more precise. Uh, running the 20 rounds just because this thing comes around 10 rounds and you want to maximize how fast you could like I guess how many people you could shoot uh, Also running the high velocity rounds well, We're trying to get max bullet velocity because even on a small map like shipment this gun for some reason I just feel like my bullets aren't hitting I maybe have bad aim But I feel like the bullet velocity was off and I did this and it was it made it feel 10 times better So I'm running high velocity rounds maxing out for bullet velocity and recoil smoothness here we're running at the 20.5 inch barrel this gives you bullet velocity damage range we're going to recoil steadiness and we're just you could go to ads speed for that right there and then last but not least we're getting the pulse the oh my god the polar fire s suppressor geez so we're getting bullet velocity ads speed and for the pros we get bullet velocity and damage range so that's what you want to run up for this gun this one has to be the worst one especially before you even get to poly you have to get these stupid five hit fire kills I and mean, then that was painful all right especially when you're doing that without shipment all right and the second meta loadout i'm going to give you guys is for the lms so if you don't know the lms here is the lockman marksman as well um what we're running on it is a little bit of recoil control and a little bit of ads speed because uh this gun you could get one shots but it's not as consistent so here running the wrap 762 factory for some reason i can't tune this so that's what that is and then the lmk64 grip here we're gonna get sprint to fire speed ads speed idle stability we're gonna max that out and we're getting recoil steadiness for tuning we're gonna run 15 rounds because we don't run 15 rounds we won't have 10 phase three grip here we're gonna run this here because we get the recoil stabilization and we're gonna max this out for aim idle stability and recoil stabilization and also running the fss o ole v laser or whatever this one's the fastest ads laser i believe out of all the lasers so that's the one you're going to want to use and also uh this gun was just a pain in the ass to use because you gotta manage the recoil with these attachments here and you still want the fast ads speed because you can be semi-aggressive with this gun but as you can see here it shoots re like relatively fast um and also you can still get one shot headshots from relatively close range so it's kind of a pain in the ass but once you kind of get this build down with this specific build on the gun it's gonna feel a lot nicer and when you're using this gun on shipment like hell just go ahead and post up freaking mount uh, hold a certain angle, but you can still use this build if you want to be a little bit more aggressive But yeah, so that's build number two. Let's go ahead and go to build number three All right, and then the third worst gun to be using to level up an mw2 has to be the freaking m16. All right 
there's there's no way i'm not gonna put the m16 in this freaking build or in this like lineup here so this is what i'm running on the m16 this gun did get a buff and it definitely helped just a little bit um even if you run this in hardcore or tier one it's still a little shitty uh, we're running the Cronin Mini Pro because I don't like the iron sights. And here we're running, uh, I can't even say this, the Perketo, Perkeo factory stock, whatever it is. Uh, you're going to want to get him down sight speed. And here for the bottom here, you could put, I didn't really touch it because this gun is a little inconsistent. Mainly you just want this thing for the recoil control. And then for the tuning, for the grip, here we got the Sakin zx grip this gives you more recoil control and we're going to recoil steadiness and sprint to fire speed and then for the grip we're getting the phase three grip that's going to help with the recoil stabilization we're maxing out for recoil stabilization and aim walking speed and then lastly but not least i feel like this helps out a whole bunch is the rf crown 50 for the muzzle it helps with the horizontal and vertical recoil control and you're going to maximize that for recoil stabilization and gun kick control uh so this helps because the freaking m16 the three bursts are hard to get kills on especially if someone's moving but if you aim just a little bit above their chest you're going to be able to get a one burst kill of course this is like freaking ideal if they're medium range about this far it's going to be almost impossible to get a one burst kill um but then when you're getting headshots with this freaking gun the best thing to do is aim just above their chest and let the recoil go up and then you're gonna your third bullet's gonna hit him in the head so that's the m16 this gun is still booty you could go ahead and try put it in single fire but i feel like single fire is still even more booty you might as well just like spray and pray with the like and hope you double tap someone with the the burst so that's the build for the m16 let's go ahead and go on to the next one and then for the fourth one here you guys are gonna get mad at me but it's the fss hurricane okay so it took me a while to warm up to this gun if you don't have this gun level up it's gonna be the pain in the ass to actually like get used to this gun because it doesn't feel that great but once you put this build on it i promise you it's gonna feel a lot better and once you even level up and you find your own build that you like it'll feel good okay but we're here we're going to be running the demo quicksilver stock this gives us just a whole bunch of like movement speed stuff ads speed crouch speed sprint sprint speed and we're gonna tune it for aim walking speed and aim walking steadiness and then for the grip we're running the x10 grip and we're maxing this out for ads speed and sprint to fire speed which is exactly what it helps with uh the con is the recoil control but then this gun has like barely any recoil and then for the grip we are running the ftac tiger grip for the recoil stabilization and we're maxing this out for recoil stabilization and aim walking speed for the barrel i highly recommend you guys use the 16 inch barrel rather than the fsss barrel that's just because uh this gives you the ability to have the extra damage range and bullet velocity without having a suppressor because suppressors are essentially almost useless in this game because you still kind of show up on the radar or you don't even show up on the radar if you don't have one you guys get what the hell i'm trying to say uh but because we're not running a suppressor on this thing uh we're able to use the ftac castle comp so this bad boy here is going to help us with a horizontal and vertical recoil control and we could max this out for ads speed and gun kick control so that's what you're going to be using i took me a while to like enjoy this gun but after i made this build and i used it for a while i definitely recommend it it's not that bad anymore and I actually do enjoy using it all right and then for the last gun we got the lockman 556 or the m13b uh I don't know these both these guns have an issue of just like not enough damage i feel like the m13 is a little bit worse but i just got the lockman 556 on here because this gun drove me freaking crazy i feel like i was able to get the m13 leveled up a lot faster than the lockman uh but for both guns this is a similar build i would run on them i'm running the Cronin mini pro and then the lm k64 grip and we're gonna max this out for recoil steadiness and sprint to fire speed the pros for this is the sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed um, we're running the 60 round max because if you're playing on shipment this gun and you shoot somebody like 10 rounds they're still not gonna die okay because you're gonna be missing a few shots and then you're gonna need another 20 rounds or another 10 rounds a total 20 rounds total to finally kill somebody so trust me run the 60 rounds it's not worth it to run the 40 rounds and then we're running the ftac tiger grip here and the pros for this is essentially the recoil stabilization and idle 
aiming, idle, stability. We're gonna max out for tuning of the aim walking speed and recoil stabilization. And then here for the muzzle, I had a suppressor on, uh, but what I meant to have was this RF Crown 50, and we're gonna max this out for gun recoil control and recoil stabilization. And the reason why we're doing that is because this gun has a little bit of left to right horizontal recoil. You wanna minimize as much as you can because this thing is a freaking hit marker machine, okay? Um, well, this is what I will run. And a little bonus tip for you guys, if you guys listen to the beginning, uh, if you're trying to get long shots with any AR or any other freaking build, what you really want to do is you want to get the longest barrel you guys can, right? Of course, we're going to be playing in tier one. This is not normal mode. You can try in normal mode, but it's going to be a lot harder. And then you're going to switch this muzzle here for a suppressor, which is why I had a suppressor in the first place. And then you're just going to want to tune this for bullet velocity and recoil smoothness. And then for the barrel, you're going to want to get damage range and recoil steadiness. Uh, we could switch out the barrel for the grip because this gives extra recoil control. Of course, it's not as much. And then a very important tip for the long shots, especially if you're playing in hardcore or tier one, you want to make sure that you are using, where is it at? A X10 Angel 40. So this one actually gives you the meters of how far people are and of course if you guys don't know there's certain ranges for long shots i'll put it on the screen right now that the enemies have to be for you to actually get the long shots and in in tier one you don't get the notifications if it's a long shot or even if you complete the freaking like challenges so you just got to be really diligent about making sure they're the right meters away and making sure that at the end of the game you check to make sure that you hit all your long shots um, also, once you get really used to where all the long shot spots are on the map, you can go ahead and switch over to this hollow thermal and this will give you a large like advantage in seeing people before they do, especially if they're relatively far away, you'll be able to see it before they see you. Um, or if you throw a smoke down a certain lane, you'll be able to still beam people and they won't be able to do anything. So that's what I would recommend if you guys are trying to get long shots done. Um, you definitely use tier one and definitely put these attachments essentially on every other gun you're using for long shots. A little bonus like loadout is this gun right here. This is essentially, uh, which, which one is the thir X13 auto. So this gun is great as a Kimbo. Do not use this as a single. I tried using this as a single thinking it would be easier for headshots when you're trying to get polyatomic for this gun. Um, I recommend for all the pistols, just stick to using them as de like akimbos because that's why they're like the best at. Um, maybe the Deagle is the only one that I would recommend maybe using single just because that's not that bad to use. Uh, but this is what I would run for this setup here. The akimbo, the 50 round mags because we're just running around killing everyone. The one millimeter or one MW pistol laser, this is the hip fire one. And here we got the side winder six slide this helps with the bullet velocity and recoil control we're going to max out for recoil steadiness and damage range and then for the barrel here we got the ft steel fire barrel we're going to max out for the recoil smoothness and bullet velocity so that's a total of five builds of guns that i did not like and i gave you an additional long shot build and also a bonus pistol tip for long shots and trying to unlock all that stuff so i hope you guys like the video hopefully it wasn't too boring i hope you guys learned something informative if you guys did please smash that like button it helps me out a whole bunch um and you guys don't have to subscribe i just hope you guys watch all the way to the end but if you do want to see more of my content hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys next time peace